Oh look! It's the guy who can't make up his mind! Hey! What's up my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Fans Toys Hydra! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here we have a nice piece of artwork of Hydra aka Six Shot FT28 fans toys bloody 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 on this side of the box we have Hydra on the other side of the box we have Hydra on the bottom Hydra on the top Hydra on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots he does this that this that this and that and up top you have a bio if you want to read it, if you can read it, try to read it. There's some glare, try to read it. There you go. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with another image there of Hydra. And on the back you have that bio again. Text specs if that interests you. Hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have Hydra, and this is Fans Toys Take on a Masterpiece Six Shot. So, here's the deal. For the sake of time, we're just going to get right down to it. We're going to get right down to the transformation. We're starting in robot mode. We're going to go through all the modes, end up back in robot mode. I'm not going to do size comparisons for every mode. We're just going to save it all for robot mode. So, without further ado, let's get down to it. So, from robot mode, we are going into the wolf mode. So... To get started here, we are going to open up his chest piece, take his chest wings here, and just fold those in. A little bit of a clearance issue, but you can kind of pull them up to clear that piece. So you just open that up, come back here, kind of get the wings out of the way. You're going to be doing this a lot during the transformation, is getting the wings out of the way. And you're just going to open up this section here. You can see the wolf head hiding back here. You just want to take all this and bring it up some. And you want to open up this panel right here. Boop and flip his head in, like so. Then you just close that back up using that little tab there, and now we can just bring that wolf head out, and now we can close up the chest, and you have a tab that will go right in there, secure all that in place. So we got that done. So now, for the arms, what you're going to do here is you're gonna take this panel, raise it up, take this panel, open it up, and you're gonna come down here to this wheel, and this wheel will swing down, and you take this little section here and bring it up, and that will just tuck in to the upper arm here. Boop, like so, then you just close that up, close that up, and you got that. And then we come down here, and you just wanna take a thumb and just bring that in, open up this panel here, like so, take the hand, flip it in, Close that back up, and then you just take the paws here, bring it around, rotate it, facing forward, and you got that all done. Same thing on the other side. Open that up, open that up, and swing that down, bring this up, and just push all that in there. Boop. Close, close, and we come down here again. Get that thumb, that, that, that thumb, that thumb, it's not a thumb, it's a thumb. Open up the panel, flip the hand in, close that back up, bring the paw forward, rotate it around, and there we pretty much have all that done. We just gotta take these and just bring them forward, and we got that. So now we are going to move on to the legs here. So you wanna take the heel, flip it in, Put the foot in, heel, foot. And what we're gonna do here is going to rotate the thigh inward like so, so these screw holes are facing upward. And then you just want to rotate the bottom of the leg down like so. And at this point now, we want to open all of this up here on the side. You wanna take this bit and bring this out, bring this section down. You want to take this section here, just bring that out. This section right here will rotate around like so. And you can flip out the little wolf feet right there. This section here, you want to untab from this bit right here. So just kind of pull that out 
and that will allow this whole section to swing forward like that. Take this panel here and you just bring that back. That'll tap in right there. Close that up. This you can bring back up. And oops, wait, actually, you want to take this little panel here, fold that in first, and then bring that up. And now all that will sit where it's supposed to. And now we got that done. So now at this point, you want to extend the leg like so. You want to bring all this out to the side. And all of this in here is going to collapse in like that. And just come around here. And at this point now, you want to take this little bit here, just kind of swing this down. And this is going to tab in right in here. If you get everything lined up just right, it takes a little bit of doing, but it's doable. Just get everything lined up the way it's supposed to. That'll drop down, and then this will come up, and this will basically just go around this black section right here of the leg. Let's bring that in like that. And you get that all squared off, and there you have that done. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now that we have uh, both sides done here, close that up, get that all straightened out. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take the thighs here, just going to bring them up one click, like so. We're going to take this panel and we'll just bring this back, and these will tab in right in here. So just push these in, and once you do that, you take the legs and you will slide them inward, like so. Slide them in like that. Kind of position those how you see fit. And then last thing we have to do is just make some adjustments here to the wings here. You can bring them back, angle them however you wish, bring them out, bring them up. Do whatever you want with the wings as always. Your toy, display it however you wish. But there you go. There you have alt mode number one, the wolf. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's six shots wolf mode, nothing all that spectacular, but hey, it kind of gets the point across. So, you know, hey, you can see here on that wolfy head, eyes down and round, got some nice teeth going on there, got the chromed out paws there in the front, got some die cast paws on the back, so no, you know. It, like I said, it gets the point across. Nothing spectacular, but it gets the point across. And the head can move up and down, only double hinge. Mouth can open and close. Arms can rotate, can move in and out. You don't have any rotation here just due to the way this kind of gets locked up when you uh, have this wheel tucked up in here, but you do have an elbow. You do have the paws there that can rotate, move up and down. The hind legs can rotate as well, but oops, it's a bit of a tight joint, so you can kind of undo that. And, you know, these paws can move up and down, like so. So yeah, there you have the wolf mode. And now he does include his weapons. He does include his uh, his two guns here, which are done in silver. And he does include a sword as well. Well, it's actually two swords. You can split down the middle, but we'll talk about that more uh, when it's time to talk about that a bit more. But um, as far as the weapons go, uh, can they store in the wolf mode? Uh, kind of. You can kind of plug them up here into the wings and have that going on. Um, kind of plug them in there. You can't really make a tail. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Maybe if we flip the handle down, just kind of poke that in there. I don't know. I can kind of work as a tail, but there's no really official way that I've seen to actually make a tail happen. The instructions don't say anything about it, so we're just going to leave it at that. So that is it for the wolf mode. So now on to the jet mode. So to get him into jet mode here, again, just kind of want to get the wings up and out of the way. Untab this. Let's bring that back up. And we will get started working on the legs. So I just want to bring this section out and just undo all of this, bring that down, bring that up. And we can just straighten the leg all out like so. And we can just get in here and get all this straightened back out the way it was. So just open this up, 
flip in of that paw, take the suction here, bring it out, flip out that little panel as well, and we can just bring all this back around, take the suction and just bring it in and tap it back in where it was, right in there. And now you want to take this whole bit here and just push this all the way in so it lays flat like that, and we're going to leave this open for now. So now we're going to rotate the leg so the screw holes are facing out like so. And then we're going to rotate the bottom section of the leg so it's like that. And then we're going to compress the leg back up. And now all of this will fold up like so. Make sure that was in the way. There we go. Make sure things out of the way. And just fold that up like that. Once we do that, this section here will come forward. You take all this here and just get this all flattened out. All this will come up and this will peg in right up in there, like so. And now you can just close all this up, flip that back up, peg that in, like so. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So now that we have both sides done, we're just going to take the two halves here and just peg it all together. Peg it all together. Peg it, peg it, peg it, peg it, peg it, peg it, peg it. There we go. And then we have the front section there of the jet. So now we can come up here. Obviously we need to uh, get the wolf head back in. So open up the chest. Come back here, open that up, and just take the wolf head and just tuck all this back in. Close that up, close that up. Again, get the wings out of the way. And what we're going to do here with the arms is we're just gonna take the paws, rotate them, and swing them back on the forms like so. Rotate, swing back. And you're going to rotate this top wheel here so it's facing inward. And what you're going to do here is you're going to untab this whole shoulder assembly and this will rotate down. You want to take the arm itself, it's on this double hinge assembly here, and you want to bring this forward like that. And then you just bring that down, that will lock into place there, straighten your arm out, bring it back, and you got that done. And same thing on the other side, just rotate. A clip. Just bring that down. Close that up. And there you go. Actually, we need to open this back up because we need uh, these little fins here. It's a complete look of the jets. So bring those out. And then we just take the wings and we just bring them out to the side. Just flatten all that out. Angle those however you wish. Like so, and voila, there you have uh, the jet mode. And you know, it's it's six shots jet mode. Again, nothing all that great, but it gets the point across. That's pretty much what I'm gonna say about all of these alt modes because that's pretty much how six shot works. So, you have the jet mode. And, you know, looks pretty good for what it is. Now, as far as the weapons go, all the guns you can store on this mode. They're just ports here on the wings. So you can just plug those guns. Oops, right there. So you got the guns going on. And there you have the jet mode. Whoosh! And now from jet mode, uh, we're going to go into the armored car mode. So let us remove the guns. Put those off to the side. And... We shall begin. So, we'll just start off at the front here. Just turn around. You can see the uh, windshields there. So, we're just going to open up this whole front section again. Like so. You want to take this purple section here and unpeg it and just bring that in like that. You're going to take this assembly here, swing this out. You're going to take this white section and bring that in and you're going to flip in this little panel here like that and we're going to open up this section and flip this bit out which sometimes is a little hard to get out there we go flip that out 
there you go. Erase headlights. And you just close that back up. And we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. So just take this purple section and unpeg it. Bring it back. Bring that back. Flip that out. Flip that out. Like so. Open that up. Swing this around. Swing it around. Swing. Swing. Boop. Right there. Close that up. And now we can tab the two halves back together. Like so. And like so. And there you have the front of the car. So now, come back up here. We need to open up the chest because we need to fold the little chest wings back in. So just flip those in. Flip those in. Close that back up. There we go. Get the wings out of the way as usual. And now we will work on the arms. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this section here with the wheel, rotate that outward. And we got that done. Now we're just going to rotate all this around. You have this little panel here that we're going to open up, which will allow us to take this section here and swing this around. It's also on a slider, so it'll help you get all this lined up. And this will peg you into the side right there. Once you do that, you can just close up that little panel. Now we need to open this up and open this up so we can get the wheel back out because we need this wheel now. Get out. Get out. Get out. There we go. Close all that back up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the wheel and just bring it down. And it will just sit right in there. And you take all this and just slide it in like so. And there you have that side all done. Second verse is just like the first. And now that we have both sides done, all that's left is just a little bit of touch-up work here. We just bring the wheels down, bring it forward, bring the wing down, bring it forward like so. And we can bring in his guns and just peg them right up there. Like so. And there you have the armored car mode. And it actually looks actually looks pretty good. I do quite like the armored car mode. I think it works. I think it works. Um all the tires are rubber, which is nice. And um yeah, I like the uh transclearance blue headlights there. I love how you end up with that front grille. Transclearing blue plastic there for the windshield and the windows there. Not too shabby for six shots, uh, you know, armored car mode. Not too bad. Not too bad. It does roll, as rolling things should. Ready for rolling. It's a little squeaky, but it rolls just fine. So, yeah, there you have the armored car mode. Now, from here, we go into tank mode. So, again, remove the guns. That's usually always the first step, is to remove the guns. And... Now let us begin. So, as usual, again, just kind of get these wings out of the way. Just get them out of the way. And we're going to just start off with the arms here. So basically, we're just going to kind of undo everything we just did here. So open this up. Open this up. And you want to take the wheel. Just kind of pull this out. Pull all this back out. And extend the wheel so you can tuck it back into the arm like so. Close all this up for now. Open this panel up. Make sure you have everything unpegged here. So you can swing this back around. Slide this back in. Close that back up. So at this point now, I need to raise the camera a bit so I have some room to operate. There we go. So at this point now, we're going to take the shoulder and we're going to shift it back up to the upward position like so. We're going to take this panel, open it up, and we're going to swing it up and bring it back down. This section here, you want to rotate so the wheel is facing downward. You can see now that tank tread is exposed. And now we want to open up this little panel here, reach in here, and you pull out these treads, unfold it, just swing it around like so, bring that down, and that will peg in right there, like 
so. Close that back up. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And there you have all that ready to go. So now we will move down to the legs here. So split, split all of this. And we're just going to fold this little panel in. Open this up. Fold that back in. Close that up. Take this little panel. Bring that up to the side. And flip that in. Open. Flip. Close. Flip. And there we go. So now we're just going to open all this up, open this up, bring that down. We're going to take all this and swing this around. You're going to rotate the thighs so the screw holes are facing inward now. So basically like we're going into robot mode basically. You're going to take this section here and flip that down like so. And then we can just close this back up. And you want to take this section here and that will tab in like so. Again, just flatten all this out so it sits in there like that. At this point now, we just extend the leg like so. And we do the same thing on the other side. And now that we have that all situated, we're just going to peg the lid. Whoa, hey. <laughs> Gets a little floppy when those are extended. You just want to peg all of this together, like so. Straighten all this out here. There we go. So again, just bring your wings down, just flatten those out. And what you're going to do is you're going to bend this section all the way up on this bottom hinge here. So just go as far as it'll go, and then you just bring it up on this section here, like that. And at this point, we can just take the wings and just angle them back, like so. And we'll come down here, and just do the last little finishing touches here. So at this point now, you can bring out these little guns. They do extend. So you can do that if you want to. If you want to leave them in, totally up to you. I usually extend them. But it's always your toy. Do what you want with it. So bring those guns out. Extend them or not. And last thing we do here is we bring in the guns and their tabs here and the slots on either side of the guns. And you just take these and tab these in to the side like so. And oops, for some reason, one of them never likes to stay in. There we go. Get that all squeezed, all nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have the tank mode. And it's six shots tank mode, you know. <laughs> Good, nothing, nothing all that great, but it gets the point across. But you can see some nice silver there for the detailing in the tank treads. There aren't any wheels or anything, so it doesn't actually roll. Again, you know, it, it gets the point across. You got the big old turret there with all the guns. Look at all those guns. Oh, look at them. You can kind of angle that how you want. And you do have the uh, <laughs> the wolf head just kind of peeking through. The wolf is driving. You don't care. He's taking over. But hey, I do like the transclear and blue plastic, though. It's quite a nice shade there. But yeah, there you go. There you have the tank mode. And from there, we move on to the gun mode. Now, you can't leave these guns attached to the sides, but I just removed them just for the sake of, you know, two less things to get in the way while you're trying to work. So, let's get up here again. So, what you're going to do is just straighten all of this out. You're going to unpeg the legs. You're going to compress them back up like so and oops straight there we go yeah nah. compress all that up like that and you're going to rotate the thighs so the screw holes are facing up like that so rotate that up and then you can rotate the bottom portions of the legs back in like so and now we can bring the two halves and peg all of this back together, like so. 
So now at this point, again, just kind of get the wings out of the way. So you got room to operate here. And now we have to kind of undo all of this. So open up this little panel, unpeg the tank tread, swing it back in, fold this section in, bring that in, close that up, and you got that done. And then we can just take this panel here, bring that up, bring that back out to the side like so. Now the instructions do say to bring the wheel back out. If you want a cleaner gun mode, you can leave the wheel in there, totally up to you. But per the instructions, we do want to get this wheel back out. So just get that out. A little bit of snug fit in there, but it works. And just swing that back in. Close all this back up. You do want that so the wheel is facing in like so. And then we just take the shoulder here and untab it. Bring it down, clip it in, bring the arm back, and guess what? We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Then, now that we have that done, let's work on the wings. So this whole section here does extend downward, like so. So extend both sides down, like that. You want to take the tips of the wings here and fold them in, like so. And these sections will swing in and that will clip in right in here on either side. So just bring that side in, take this side and bring that in. So the two halves meet in the middle there. And then just want to get in here. Sometimes you can get it out, sometimes you can't. If you can't, you can just undo that panel and just push it out. And the instructions also want you to, he does have an ab joint and they want you to kind of bring it up a click. You don't have to, I kind of don't get why, but you know, I guess it makes things sit, sit a bit straighter, but again, you know, do it if you want to, doesn't really matter either way. But you do that. And last thing we're gonna do is just take the guns and plug them back in. So he's at maximum gunnage. And there you go. There you have the gun mode, and it's six shots gun mode. Again, nothing spectacular, but it gets the point across. <laughs> and just like on the G1 toy, you had the section here serving as a trigger. So yeah, the gun mode, or is it a ship? Yeah, no, it's a gun, it's a gun. <laughs> but I have the gun mode. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Not too bad, not too shabby. Like I said, nothing great, but it gets the point across. So, there you go. There you have that. So, now we go back to robots mode. So, just remove the guns. Take these, push them in, flip them back in, push in, flip back in. Uh, push, oh, did it for me, but put that trigger back in. And just split the legs, rotate the thighs so these screw holes are facing inward. And rotate that back out. And you just come in here, flip out the toe, flip out the heel. You're all done there. Rotates, rotates, flip out the toe, flip out the heel, and we got the legs all done. So now we move on to the upper body. We just take the shoulders here and just bring them back up. These two clip in very securely. Bring that back up. Rotate that back up, like so. You do want to take the arm here and swing that back on oh, that double hinge there. And I can bring the arm down. And then we come down here, open up this panel, flip out this hand, close up this panel again. And there you have an arm all done. Second bus is just like the first. It's quick, so I'm not going to cut it out. Bring it around, bring that down, and open, flip, close, and there you have that. So now, for the chestial region here, we just open this up, bring out his little chest wings again, 
We want to undo the wings here. And we can just collapse these back into their original position. Put it back down. Open all of this back up. We need to bring out the wolf head enough so we can get access to this panel here. And to flip his head back out. And then we can just close that back up. Get all this back in. Close that up. Close that up. And let's just get his waist clipped back in there. And then as far as the wings go, we can just extend these. And just get all this sitting where it needs to go. Just bring them back. Bring them up. Get everything straightened out there. And... There you go. We've been around the world, but we are back. And there you have a six shot in his robot mode. And six shots robot mode has always been his best mode. Oh, one thing I always forget to do is you want to take the wheels and just rotate these around. They're supposed to be facing out. But there you go. But yeah, six shots robot mode has always been his best mode. Best looking one. And they did a really good job on this. I think, in my personal opinion, anyway. Well, let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. I love the head sculpt. He just looks really just, he looks fierce. It's a fierce looking head sculpt. There's not much to it, but he looks fierce. Got some nice red in there for the eyes. Yeah, it's a simple head sculpt, but like I said, he just looks, he looks like he's ready to just mess somebody up. Like, what, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Yeah. Um, I love the metallic coloration on the chest, on the body here, on the shoulders. I love that. And on the wings too, it has this nice metallic coloration to it. And it just really pops. I love that. I think that looks so, so good on this figure. He has little chest wings here. Kind of like a dark gray with some purple, with some black. Some nice detail there in the chest with some silver. And the cockpits where it should be. It's a very appropriate place for that to be. And down his legs, he's got his feet. There is die cast in the feet. I don't know where else there's die cast. I think there's die cast like in this, uh, in the waist section here. I think there's die cast as well. So he does have that little bit of heft, which is always nice. But yeah, all around, looking pretty good. The back, very clean. Just got the wings hanging out back there. So it's a very clean transformation. So all in all, looks quite good. Now, as far as our articulation goes, the head can rotate, can do a full 360. You can look up, you can look down a little bit. You can move the chest wings out of the way to accommodate the arm movement. Arms can rotate on a nice ratchet joint, can do a full 360. Can go in and out. He can smack himself in the head with his own shoulder. If you want to, you can bring that arm out some. That'll give you a little bit of extra range. If you need it, he does have a bicep rotation. Uh, the elbows work kind of weird. The elbows are kind of my least favorite part of this toy because the way all this works with the wheel, like if you just move this by itself, like the wheel will stay behind and I believe the wheel is supposed to come with it. So you can have to, you have to hold everything and it's kind of stiff too. So you have to kind of hold everything and bend it. And even then the wheel doesn't quite stay with it kind of stays behind a little bit, but you know, you can get like a little over 90 degrees of, uh, uh, this is where my tongue stops working, a little bit over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. So yeah, the elbows just work kind of weird. It's kind of my least favorite part of them, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Now, as far as the hands go, you do have wrist rotation, can move up and down a little bit due to transformation. The hands are nice and poseable, as fans toys hands tend to be. The thumb is on a ball joint at the base and a hinge there, and each finger is on a hinge at the base and another hinge right there. So you got some nice poseable hands. You do have ratcheted waist rotation. He does have an ab crunch there. He has very full levels of crunchage there. And you do have these little skirt panels here, which will move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that far. You can do them high kicks. You can do the big boot back that far. Outward, you can do the full splits. 
you got thigh rotation. Uh, you do have slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. The knee ratchets are a little looser than I would like. It would be nice if these knee ratchets were a little bit stiffer. I mean, they hold they hold well enough, but you can see it doesn't doesn't take much for the legs to drop. So those knee ratchets definitely should have been a bit tighter. And they also have this little bit of wiggle. They always have this little bit of wiggle here. Unless I'm just doing something wrong, but I believe I have everything locked in here the way it's supposed to be. I just, this little bit of wiggle there in the leg, which is kind of annoying. And uh, what else? The feet, they can move up, they can move down. You do have a little bit of tiltage there. And as you can see, you can move that heel down if you need. And of course we can give him his guns here and we can just flip down the handles here. That's the typical tab in the slots of the palm method of weapon holding. And you just get those tabbed in. He does hold them quite securely. So we can give him his guns. Like so. And you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Um, if you want to store them, you, you can. Um, if you kind of open the wings up, you can just take these and just kind of plug them in back here for storage. You know, it's a place you can put them if you want to put them somewhere. Hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And of course, you can give him his sword. You can just give him the one sword here. And he can hold that in his hand, if you wish. Or, if you want, you can actually split this in half. Just splits right down the middle. And you can give him two swords, which is pretty cool. And I like how they hold together, um, like the hilt and the handle here, hold in via, you know, post and a port, tab and a slot here, but the blade itself Holds on via a magnet, so I think that's kind of cool. The sword itself, just get a closer look at it. Let's see, just done all in silver there. I like that, uh, that serrated edge they added to it here. I think it looks really cool. So you can give him one sword, you can give him two swords. Totally up to you what you want to do. As far as storage for the sword, I have no idea. The instructions say nothing about storage for the sword. I don't know if there's anywhere to put this. It doesn't seem like there is. I don't know. Maybe you can find a way to store it. If you can, good for you. Me personally, I don't really care. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna display them with the swords anyway, so I don't care if they store. But uh, you know, hey, if you can figure out a way to store the swords, kudos to you, man. Kudos to you. And the last thing that is included with this bad boy here is an optional uh, chest plate here. So as you can see. This chest plate is a lot cleaner. This is basically the toy chest plate, and this is more cartoon chest plate. Again, a lot cleaner. And switching out the chest plate is very easy. You can see there are just screws on either side here. You just undo the screws, pop it out, pop the new one in, put the screws back in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but you can have him with a more tune accurate chest. If you wish, it's only up to you. You have the option, and as always, options are good. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with MP10 Masterpiece Prime. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with Masterpiece Megatron. Here he is with Masterpiece Magnus. Just so you can see how that works out, and uh, almost the same height there as Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. Here he is with uh, Fans Toys version of Springer. And for the six shots here, we have the Mastermind Creation version. Here we have the Titans Return version. And last but not least, here he is with G1 Six Shot because it's precious! So, so precious. 
So there you have Hydra, aka Six Shot. Um, it's a well done figure. Um, I do have some uh, some some minor complaints. Um, I don't really like the way his elbows work in robot mode. That's something I'm not really a fan of. Um, the knee ratchets could have been a bit tighter. They're a little bit too loose for my liking. Um, his his shins have that little bit of wiggle from side to side. Like, I think I have everything locked in there the way it's supposed to be. Everything seems like it's tabbed in right, so I don't know if I'm still doing something wrong or what, but yeah, that little bit of wiggle there in uh, the legs there, just it's, it's a minor annoyance. The transformations from mode to mode is fairly smooth, you know, nothing really fights you. I'm never going to criticize Six Shot's alt modes because it's Six Shot. His alt modes have never looked good, so, you know, it's just par for the course for this character. So while there are some things here and there that I feel could have been improved upon, overall, I'm, I'm quite happy with the figure. He looks great. I mean, that's one thing. He just, he looks amazing on the shelf. He definitely has a presence to him. But yeah, like I said, uh, you know, some, some things that I feel could have been improved upon, but overall, um, I dig him. I, I definitely dig him. But as always, that is just my opinion. What do you think? Because after all, it is your money. It's your collection. So it is your judgment to make so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Fan Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Fans Toys Hydra, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face! Hey, six shot. I thought of adopting your mentality and uh, maybe adopting some new alt modes. I got some ideas too. All right, let's hear them. How about a tank? No, you can't pull off a tank. No, uh, how about a jet? No, you can't pull off a jet. No, uh, how about a dinosaur? No, you can't pull off a dinosaur. All right, how about a dragon? You definitely can't pull off a dragon. So what you're saying is the only mode I can pull off is a gun. Well, I like to think I pull that off a bit better, too, but, uh... Yeah, I think that's pretty much in your wheelhouse. How about a wheelhouse? No, you can't pull that off.